Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here today and we want to talk about adding decals to objects using KitOps. There is a product called Decal Machine, which runs on 2.79 that does this splendidly, but right now it's not available. People have been asking me how to add decals using my Definitely EV materials system. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to use the KitOps Pro Edition to do this. You can use it with the Pro or the Free Edition. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go to KitOps. And I'm going to filter my K-Packs by CW because I know I get only the materials at that point. And we'll go down and I've got a new K-Pack called CW Decals. This K-Pack is a free update for all the users of the material system. So let's go ahead and see how it works. I'm going to select an object, in this case this box. I'll go in here. I have two different decals. I have a BSDF decal and I have an emissive one. I'm going to grab the BSDF one and I'm going to go to medium 50%. And I'm going to add, add this insert and I'll stick it over here. And you can see as soon as I add it, it's stuck to the surface and we're ready to go and that's pretty much how that works let's take a look at the actual shader real quick so we have a texture material here that we can actually load with our own decal and we're going to do that by pressing here and use file from current directory and then basically go in here and then adding a, a file there but i'm not going to do that right now uh, we have another rgb curves and a hue saturation value i'll show you how you use these later to colorize your decals and then we have this transparent BSDF shader plugged in with the principal BSDF shader to this mix shader. And then we have a material output. Okay, next we want to show how we form this decal around a curve. And to do that, I'm going to first go into this material up here. And since I want it to be a smooth material, I'm going to go to the bump and I'm going to turn the bump off. And I'll go up here to roughness and I think I'll make it a little bit smoother. Get an idea of what that looks like. And then I'm going to take my decal, and with my decal selected, I'm going to go into the modifier. Look at the wireframe mode, and we're going to add a modifier. We're going to add a subdivision surface modifier, simple. And we want to keep these numbers the same. Two, three, three. Let's, let's start at three for now. Now I'm going to move this up to the actual sphere. So I do that by coming under here and saying face, center, align rotation to target. Okay. And... What I'll do is I'll turn this magnet on and when I hit the G key here, I'll move it up and it'll just snap right in place. So there we have it. Now this is done. I'm going to go over here. I'll, let's turn the magnet off. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add another modifier and that's going to be the shrink wrap modifier. What do I want to shrink wrap? I'll click the eyedropper, do that sphere, and then I'm going to actually punch it out just a tiny bit at 0.1. Now if I go real close, I'm going to see that that's maybe 0.005 there we go and so now you can see that we have a nice decal on here if i want to i can actually select this let's go in and grab another material something like a uh, plastic shiny hold the control key down click it and there we have there's our material with our really nice logo mapped perfectly to it okay now let's talk about the emissive decal so we'll come down here we'll grab the emissive decal i'm going to put that on the floor right here I'll hit the button that says Add Insert and move it over here. You'll notice that the decal works very nice in terms of reflecting into the actual floor. And this is an emissive decal. So if I look at it in here, I'll see that I have a strength of two. So let's go into our world, strength, let's make it zero. Let's turn off some lights. And you start to see how that works. Works pretty good. It works pretty much the same way. I've actually left a copy of the principal BSDF in here. If you want, you can hook that up also. So let's talk about some other features. Let's say I want to make this particular logo a metal logo. I'm going to come back in here. Uh, I will delete this. I'll go over and add my decal BSDF. Select this, add the insert, and put it in here. Scale it down. Now, keep in mind that I'm working on the exact same material as the one up here. So if I change something in here, like the metallic is going to change it above also. If I want to make sure that that doesn't happen, I'll click on this button right here. It'll make a unique copy of it right here for us. So I want to make this white. To do that, I'm going to go over here. I'll drag this little curve point up to the very top. Now it's at white. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, give me, make it fully metallic and I'll move the roughness down. Say to 0.1, something like that. So now you're starting to see we have a metallic material sitting right there on the floor. That's how easy it is to turn a decal into something metallic. Okay, now let's see how easy it is to add our own decals. So if you have your own custom image, it needs to be pinged with transparency. 
And what I'm going to do is go in here, a new decal. It's part of a new decal kit by Sir Charles Hurst, which he's working on a fabulous decal kit. But I'm going to pull this one in and you can see what happens. It brought it in in an aspect ratio that was exactly the same, which is a problem. So how do we fix that? So that's not too hard. What we'll do is we'll go over here into the image editor. We'll select our new decal and hit the end key. And over here it tells us it's 1920 by 774. So I'm gonna go 1.92 by 774. I'll select this. I'll go up here and in my dimensions, I'm just gonna go 1.92, 0.774. And now it's set and I can actually now scale it up or down as I like. When I'm done, I can always control A and apply the scale to it. Lastly, let's show you how we can colorize our decals. So this particular decal is a medium gray decal with a transparent background. So let's go into our shader editor. I'm gonna go back, turn off metallic, set our roughness to something like 0.4. And you can see that this is what we have. Now, if I wanna colorize it, what I'm gonna do is go to my RGB curves, reset that particular node, and I'm just going to go to the R node and I'm gonna push it all the way to the top. And now I'm gonna to go to the value node and put 0.5 in here. So now I've got a kind of a pink color, if you will. And then I'm gonna add the saturation to two. So now I've got a bright red color. And once I'm here, it's just a simple matter of holding the shift key down and dragging through the hues to find a color that I actually wanna use, use with this. So I wanna maybe something like that. And that's a really fast way of using the definitely EV material system to help build your decals. So I hope this was helpful. I'm going to release this K-Pack for free. I'll put a link down in the description of the video. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you online. Bye.